Hello world, Shelly here, and today I'm going to go through some of my latest Yes Style skincare favorites. Yes, I know we've gone heavy on the skincare videos lately, but you know the secret to beautiful makeup is a solid skincare routine. So don't worry, I've got plenty of makeup still coming. The new Natasha Denona Trichrome palette is on its way. Fridays are always foundation, so don't worry. Makeup's still here. But I'm going to go through some of the things I've been trying because the last two months I have been trying a ton of K-Beauty and other products from Yes Style. Between September and October, I literally had a new box arriving every week. I think I ordered six different Yes Style orders by the time everything was said and done. Oh boy, I got some things I haven't even opened yet, haven't even tested, but these I've been testing for at least a couple of months and I've got some thoughts. Now, if you caught my Essences video recently on Essences and Toners, a lot of things I've been trying are also in that video. I'm not duplicating them here, so check that one out as well. I'm gonna apologize in advance for any noise you hear. The construction crew is here working on the addition to my house. That is also why my background is all wigged out, like I'm shoved like four feet over <laughs> from where I usually am because part of this room is becoming a hallway to get to the new room. And anyway, that's all happening and they're here all the time. So I have to film whenever I can. So let's get into some of these things, shall we? First off, let's start with, this is a recommendation from Taylor Wynn's channel from several months back and I love it as well. It is the Bubble Bubble Lip Mask. This is a lip mask where you apply it to your lips and then let it sit for a couple minutes and it does bubble up, which is a really strange, kind of creepy, but kind of awesome sensation. I really enjoy it. It's got multi-purpose. You're going to get exfoliation from this, which is gonna result in the overall sense of like softening of your lips. The look of wrinkles is decreased because you don't have dead skin on the top layer as much. It also is very moisturizing. So I really enjoy it. It's kind of weird. If you have sensory issues with like that weird tingling bubbling sensation, it's not tingling like the way a plumping gloss is. Not, not warming tingling, but a bubbling ting, like literal bubbles form on your lips. Uh, if that freaks you out, then maybe don't go this route. But if that intrigues you, this one's really cool. I really enjoy it. Next, let's talk cleansers. I'm afraid this one's going to be discontinued. Let's just go through this. This is from Purito. You know I'm crushing on them hardcore. It's the Snail All-in-One BB Cleanser. My The reason I fear that it's going to be discontinued, it's still available as of me making this video right now. The reason I worry that it's going to be discontinued, it is available on Yes Style's website right now, but I worry because if what I've been reading online is true that Purito is working on getting their product line to be vegan. They're already cruelty free. If they're working on going vegan, then this has snail secretion as an ingredient and that would not be vegan. So if it goes away, I will be sad because A, I love it because it's in a pump. B, I love it because I am a really big fan of what snail does for my skin. It is so soothing, calms inflammation. It's a healing kind of an ingredient and this particular cleanser has such a luxurious sort of a, it's a gel, but it's a really, it's almost like a nice moisturizer feeling on the skin. It just, it's a really enjoyable, not crazy bubbly, nothing, you know, nothing messy. Super good at cleaning makeup. I can use it to get my eye makeup off as well. And I really like it and it's super hydrating. I can use this in the morning and I have no dryness whatsoever. Morning cleansing, I need to have a hydrating, a hydrating cleanser because I cannot dry my skin out in the morning. I just gave it all that moisture in the evening. I need it to last me through the day under makeup. So I highly, highly recommend this one. I'm probably gonna pick up a few extras because I'm just a little worried that it's going to get discontinued and I really love it. So I uh, get it if you can. It's still available right now. I do have a discount code for Yes Style. It's Yes, G-O-O-W for Geek Out of Water. Yes, Goo, 
if you would like 5% off your Yes Style purchase, that discount does stack with any other sales they've got going on, and they've almost always got sales going on. This is not a sponsored video, but I do have a promo code for them because I signed up as an influencer. Look at me influencing. <laughs> you know, I spend so much money with all these companies that... Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's move on. Let's check out the another Purito product. I'm sorry, I love them, you guys. I'm so in love right now. This is the Centella Green Level Buffet Serum. Dun, 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 dun. It is, all of their products are mild, clean ingredients. That's like one of their claims to fame. 49% Centella Asiatica Extract. Hey, Sika, my new BFF, Tiger Grass. Arr, loving, loving it. So if you're not on the Sika train, Tiger Grass is one of the alternate names for it, or it is Centella Asiatica. It is. They, it's a plant, and the story goes, my favorite version of the story anyway, is that tigers roll around in this tiger grass, in this plant, to heal their wounds. So it's another very healing ingredient, which is something I really enjoy about the philosophy behind Korean skincare. There's so much healing types of ingredients in their skincare, and I feel like a lot of us need that. We need some healing, you guys. So it's also got peptides and some other ingredients. Good stuff, another very healing, calming, soothing kind of a serum. I'm using this in my layering process where I layer up moisture and serums in my skincare routine. So this one is a nice one if you need something that's not, we're not going for exfoliation. We're going for healing after the exfoliation. If you need a nice healing serum, that is a good option to throw in there. Let's do the other serum that I've got. It is from Tiam, the Vita B3 Source Serum. So this one's got, well, its goals are treating hyperpigmentation, helping with uneven skin tone, general brightening, and it's accomplishing that. So there's niacinamide in here, one of my favorite things to have in my skincare, and it's got allantoin, uh, What's the other A word? Arbutin? Am I saying it right? I had it looked up for a second because I wanted to make sure I was pronouncing it. I don't know. Well, yes, Arbutin. The, so these ingredients, uh, you've got fading of hyperpigmentation, but also the prevention of future hyperpigmentation because it kind of helps to prevent your body, like let's say you got a sunburn, it'll help prevent you your melatonin from going into overdrive and prevent those dark spots from forming, which is awesome. And you've also got, again, skin healing ingredients that the whole goal is to stimulate your skin to repair itself. And that is something that helps skin behave more youthfully because as we get older, we have fewer of those triggers naturally happening. So if we can kind of spur our bodies to do the things that it did naturally when we were younger, the end result, you got skin that behaves like it's younger. So I'm very much, very much enjoying this one. It does not dry me out. Uh, this would be what I would call a treatment serum. So I would not use this as multi-layering for moisture. I would use this as a, a single step in the routine treatment, maybe not even every single day, depending what treatment actives you're, you're shooting for on that particular day. Like it, my nighttime actives are generally going to be, if I'm doing my tretinoin, I wouldn't do this. So I would do this on an off night of my tretinoin or daytime, my active, for example, I, I prefer vitamin C as my morning active. And so I would alternate this in when I'm not doing one of those, but thoroughly enjoying the the goals of that one, you know, I've got some dark spots that peek through here and I will do anything to fade them. Not anything, but I would do a lot. <laughs> I have a couple moisturizers here. This one I talked about in my skincare routine. I'm not sure if this is gonna go up before or after. I think you've already seen my skincare routine. This is from Fruitia. It is the Avocado Relief Cream. And if you're jumping on that sort of mindset where your moisturizer is the 
the protector, the guardian of your moisture. This is just a really nice straight up moisturizer, very calming, soothing, no irritating ingredients and not much else going on. It's not trying to be a Swiss army knife of multiple features. It's not multitasking. It's a moisturizer. It's not trying to be anything else. And it works really, really well as a moisturizer. Be sure to feed it some moisture underneath so that it can do its job and protect your skin from the outside while keeping your moisture inside. The packaging kills me. It is so freaking beautiful. It looks like a little avocado. It's like green like that. The packaging is anyway. The top is like that sort of fake wax seal looking thing, which I just love. Oh, I just, I, I love this packaging and it's a gorgeous feeling moisturizer. It feels so good on the skin. Wears wonderfully under makeup. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it most days under makeup because it's so nice under makeup. It has a really nice Again, just a really nice texture to it. It's a really nice feeling moisturizer. The other moisturizer I have going on here, it's it's from, I'm from, it's the Honey Glow Cream. Again, love the packaging. Kind of reminds me, is it pharmacy that has a bee sort of beehive packaging like that? I can't think of it right now, but I don't have that, but I the packaging, the shape of the packaging reminded me of it. So this is the Honey Glow Cream, and the idea behind this, there's a proprietary honey set of ingredients included in here. It's good for both protecting the skin and moisturizing the skin. That's kind of the claim to fame on this one. My favorite thing about it is the, the it's, it's, let me just show you. I don't know if it's gonna come off on camera, but the texture of it, not the, well, the texture when you apply it is wonderful, but the texture, the way your skin looks after you've applied it. So, okay, we're gonna start here. And it almost leaves a, the look of a primer. It doesn't feel like a primer, like I don't feel, it's not silicone-y, but it does leave it feels like a smooth, almost protective barrier. So there's your moisturizer serving as your warrior and the smoothing of it. Like, do you, you're not really, I don't think you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but if you compare this hand with moisturizer and this one without, if it, if you can see the lack of texture on the back of that hand, whereas you can see all the lines of my skin on this hand, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm telling you on the face, it does, it does almost as much smoothing as if I had worn a silicone based primer. Like it's a very smoothing appearance on the skin. It feels soft. It feels like a cozy blanket. I really enjoy it. It's beautiful on the skin. It's not quite hydrating enough for me to wear as a nighttime moisturizer. And again, similar to the avocado one, you know, it's it's not trying to do 12 different things. It is a moisturizer. It is here to protect your skin and moisturize. That's what it's here for. And I prefer it during the day because I need a little more moisture at night, but that's okay because the way it looks, like it has such a beautiful glow to it. It's a soft focus, dewy, smoothing glow. I prefer it in the daytime anyway because of that purpose. So thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this one. This one's not gonna surprise you. I've been using this sunscreen for this entire year. It's the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented SPF 50 PA3 4 pluses. This one's been in the in the YouTubes and in the chatter box on the internet lately. There are people questioning whether it actually provides SPF 50 protection. I'm going to refer you to the two sources I checked being the Dr. Dre's channel who she this week put out a video talking about it and No BS Beauty who also this week put out a video talking about it. There are a few other brands in this speculation. Here's what I found out from that. I hope Lab Muffin Beauty Science does a video on this because I would love to see her scientific breakdown of everything. But from what I've gleaned from what Dr. Dre and Sarah at No BS Beauty had to say, 
it's speculation. It's all anecdotal stories that people are saying this is not providing SPF 50 protection, at least for the Purito. There are no studies that have been done to discredit the uh, research that Purito has put out. Purito makes all of their data available on their SPF testing, so anybody can review that data. There's been nothing to disprove that. Dr. Dre was explaining that the question comes up because the chemical sunscreen filters in this sunscreen, there's only two of them. And most of the products that have chemical sunscreen filters are using three filters. So does that impact the ability of the product to provide a full SPF 50 level of protection? There's nothing scientifically yet to say it doesn't. And since Purito makes their testing data available and because sunscreen is a pretty heavily regulated type of a product, I am comfortable using it. I have worn this on days when I'm in the sun all day long. I have never gotten a sunburn or any sun while wearing this as my sunscreen. So personally speaking, I find it to be effective. It is an amazing sunscreen. It is hydrating. It wears beautifully under makeup. It has absolutely no color cast at all on my skin. It sinks into the skin quickly. You don't have to wait to start putting your makeup on, you know, give it five minutes, you're good to go. I have no complaints whatsoever about this. It's got clean ingredients. There are no fragrance ingredients to cause sensitivity. All I have are good things to say. And the speculation about the SPF seems to be exactly that so far. So until I see some science that discredits their label, I'm going to keep on using it. My last product, you guys know I love testing out dupes for the Face Halo because I think it is crazy expensive. This one I found on YesStyle. It is from Faye Beauty and it's a Face Halo dupe. It's the Clean Sponge. And this is... I'm going to go ahead and say straight up dupe. If you like the face halo or you want something similar, go ahead and try it. It's got a similar size to the face halo. It's got a similar outer ring. The thickness of it feels very similar. I did a test of a bunch of different dupes for the face halo. This isn't my favorite one. My favorite one is a set of them that I get on Amazon, but it comes with like eight or ten of these, and if you only want one, maybe you only want one. Go on Yes Style. I like this one. It's in my rotation. The I will also link the one down below that has the kit that I like to get off Amazon, the solar ones. But uh, Clean Sponge, I like it. It's a good one. There you have it. There are some of my recent Yes Style favorites. Use code YESGOOW on YESStyle.com if you would like 5% off. That discount will stack with the rest of their sales. Good times. What are you using? What do I need to get my hands on? What should I place for yet another Yes Style order to come to my house? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over skincare with me this time. Come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time for new videos. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.